Dr. Dre is one of the top experts in skincare here on YouTube. She makes lots of amazing recommendations. I took one of those recent recommendations and decided to do a top secret 30 day skincare trial. I made it about two weeks. So if you're interested in hearing my results, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Hey, I'm Mary Lynn. Welcome to my channel. If you're a skincare enthusiast and you're passionate about skincare ingredients, then you're definitely in the right place. Just to let you know a little bit about my skin, I had cystic acne in college and adult onset acne in my late 30s. I'm 46 now and I like to avoid sensitizing ingredients and I'm very interested in anti-aging ingredients and anti-aging procedures. When Dr. Dre did her recent skincare routine video, I was blown away by what she said she removes her makeup with. Now, admittedly, Dr. Dre wears sunscreen, possibly tinted sunscreen, and a little bit of mascara. But what she removed her makeup with, and I have it here, is the Neutrogena body oil. And she pointed out she uses the fragrance-free version because she, like me, does not advocate for fragrance in facial skincare as it can be sensitizing. She showed how she uses it, putting it on her face and then emulsifying it and rinsing it off and then washing her face. And that got me thinking because my current favorite makeup remover is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away by Pharmacy, which is a balm that then becomes an oil that then you rinse off. That is $32 and I have to mail order it. When I'm getting low, I have to remember to get online and order it. By contrast, the Neutrogena body oil I could pick up at Walmart, at Walgreens, get it at the grocery store. And then there's the price difference. Price of this is $9 for eight and a half fluid ounces. You know, would this be easier to get so I don't have to remember to mail order something? And would this be less expensive? With those two thoughts in mind, I decided to use this as my makeup remover every single day for 30 days. As a person with a history of acne and a history of sensitive skin, I did tell myself, if this breaks you out, Mary Lynn, stop. Do not use this if this breaks you out. I reviewed the ingredients on the back and there are no sensitizing agents in it. I went on my merry way and used it. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I advocate washing your face with a white microfiber washcloth. Of course, this one's got makeup samples on it for previous video, but what you're able to do, put your makeup remover on, emulsify it, and then make sure you're removing all your makeup so that you can verify that all the makeup is removed. I knew that I would be able to use this with my white microfiber washcloth as a verifier to make sure I was getting all my makeup off. So the first couple of times I used it, I really had to work to make sure I got a full face of makeup off. And it wasn't so much the eye makeup, it was just getting used to using an oil instead of a balm. Did have to pour out the oil two and three times to make sure I got it all down the back of my neck, all up around my hairline, my eyes, then add the water, then emulsify it, go back over everything. Was it more work than using my Makeup Melt Away Cleanser? Yes, it was a slower process removing my makeup with the Neutrogena body oil than using my Green Clean Makeup Cleanser. I was able to verify with the white microfiber washcloth that I was able to remove all my makeup and I was able to remove all my eye makeup. Now, now, did I feel like I was rubbing my eyes harder in order to get my eye makeup off? No, I did not have to rub them hard in any way to get the eye makeup to loosen up. I did go over them with the microfiber washcloth to make sure that I got the eye makeup off, but I did not have to go back with the oil twice. And then of course, I always follow with a cream cleanser. Right now, I usually use the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I have dry skin and this feels good. It does not strip me. I also um, sometimes use the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. Right now, I'm almost done with this one. I love both of those cleansers and I follow with a toner and a cotton pad and so I'm able to make sure even with that cotton pad that there's no makeup left on my face. So everything is definitely coming clean. 
So the question is, is the body oil effectively removing the makeup? Yes. Was it a little bit more tedious to use an oil than a balm for me? Yes. As the days went on and I'm using it, it's fine. I'm not having any problems. And if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. That'd be great. About two weeks go by and I go to film some videos for my YouTube channel and I filmed my video for last week and when I was editing the video, I just felt like my skin looked bad. You know, maybe it was the lighting, maybe it was my makeup, maybe I was having a bad day. I'm relatively new to YouTube. I really wasn't sure. I didn't think too much about it, but I just went ahead and edited it and I was taking my makeup off and I started looking at my skin and I thought, you know, your skin just does not look good. And what's going on? I have mentioned I still have pore area kind of on my nose, but I was getting enlarged pores on my chin right through here, enlarged pores right here, and enlarged pores right here. I have not made major changes to my skincare routine other than switching out this cleansing oil. The issue is, is that while we can read the ingredients on the back of this and say there are no problematic ingredients, this should work to remove makeup, okay, it should be fine. Or I can trial this with my white microfiber washcloth and say, yes, it's effectively re removing my makeup. There's no makeup left behind. It's an effective makeup remover that's fine. Is this an effective product to use on my face when it's designed for my body? The answer to that I would say is no. This is a body oil designed for the shower, designed for body skin. And I always think about what Caroline Hiron says. And you know, I think about her as the original YouTube guru. She always says formula is king. And if I were designing a body oil for the shower, you know, this is designed to go on and rinse and then leave a film so that skin stays hydrated. I have a feeling I'm washing my face and thinking I'm removing my makeup with this and even though I'm coming behind with something else that there's a film of some type of oil that's been getting left on my skin that's been preventing skin cells from turning over, which would encrust those pores and make them look larger and start to make my skin tone just look bad. Because part of what keeps pores looking good, part of what keeps skin tone looking good is those cells moving up through the stratum corneum and shedding at a regular basis. And so I I feel like this was just creating a layer of oil that was preventing that shedding from going on that keeps that facial skin from looking good. Whereas when we're talking about our body skin, you know, we're trying to seal all that moisture in. But using this is kind of at the beginning step when it's really designed to be at the end step, I think is where the mistake is. So what I'm going to do to kind of try and get myself back in line is use my liquid chemical exfoliant. I have the Kate Somerville right now. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use it every other day for the next couple of weeks to see if I can't get those skin cells shedding again and get myself back on track. What I would say to Dr. Dre or anyone who may be trying this is in a pinch, if you don't have makeup remover and you need an oil to break something up so you can watch your face, fine use a body oil for my two-week trial you know this was a fail I'm going to keep this and use this as a body oil so I'm excited to try it for that as far as having fragrance free products so I'm very excited to try it in the shower but it's a total failure as far as using it for my face Dr. Dre has so many followers I have to imagine that there's 10,000 people out there that have tried using body oil as makeup remover and I want to know did it break you out did you feel like your pores got larger or you you able to get your eye makeup off or are you doing fine and is it working great for you what do you think let me know in the comments down below I'm really interested in everybody's feedback on this that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button and also hit subscribe that way you'll get notified for future skincare related content have a great day bye